Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those of you who are new here and thank you to those of you who recently subscribed. Welcome to today's tea leaf reading, pick a cup. I have quite a lot to share with you, okay? So settle in, um, you know, grab your tea or coffee also, whatever you're drinking right now. And I'm going to get straight into the channel messages because they're coming in quite strong this morning and I've been getting them for the past few weeks, okay? Um, I have had like a two week break from posting, um, but now is the right time to share this, okay? So we know we've just come through a full moon energy, <clears throat> so there's been a lot of releasing, whether it's conscious, subconscious, Either way, it's like an ongoing um, clearing out, releasing that's been happening in the background, okay? In some cases, on your behalf. Some of it is still residual energy from things that I hear are from coming out of a long winter, a dark winter. And... As I was preparing um, the cups, I I had this energy of a comeback, a major comeback, okay? After having a major setback. And also something that is very much so overdue that shows up as a crisis. Okay, of course, take what resonates. I know not everything will be for all of you. But this is what is coming up dominantly. Now, as I prepared the cups and got them ready, I also um, wanted to see, you know, what came on the plates, see that it's in the cup, you know, and um, that it's prepared well. Uh, and I saw an image of a dragon. Uh, there's this huge dragon. I thought, wow, that dragon, there's so much power. There's so much transformation here. And then I figured the lunar year has just gone. Okay, all my readings are timeless, but as I'm posting this, this is what it's close to. And then I realized it's the year of the dragon <laughs> so i was like okay how fitting the year of the dragon so some of you you may already work with the energy the energies of uh, you know dragons okay you may love dragons you may have a dragon tattoo you could be thinking of that okay but certainly um there is a a significance here with dragon energy and transformation and a sense of inner inner power that's unmovable right like there's no going back you can't unbecome the dragon right it's now a part of you And I also understand it's connected to, you know, fortune. So there's something here where you becoming your inner dragon, so to speak, right? Transforming is bringing you a lot of positive change from something that looked like it was actually a disaster situations, relationships, experiences. But now it's like this polished product, I, I wanna say, like, you know, I say product, but it's not, it's not really that. It's like, in my mind's eye, I see a, a statue, you know, of this golden dragon. Like there's something here where, you know, moving into that energy, transforming into that energy is also created some kind of 
like a diamond in the rough, you know, like a, a golden opportunity. You are the golden opportunity. Now, I had to write some things down because they came to me, you know, throughout the week. For some time now, okay, for a few weeks, there's been this energy of swans, okay, and I'm hearing it's connected to a union that is coming in, okay? A union that will be entering um, many of the collective's lives. And on the one hand, it feels like it's coming out of nowhere, but on the other hand, many of you have been seeing signs. Some of you, you may have been seeing swans. It doesn't have to be necessarily, you know, with the waking eye in the sense you saw them, you know, in the physical form can be in dreams, this could be in a movie you watch, this could be in a book, right? Um, it could be in a painting. Also, it could be something that you really have an affinity with, you really love swans, okay? Um, and as we, as we know, swans are very graceful, okay? So along with this powerful energy of the dragon energy, it's also this, this um, essence of like, it's graceful, it's so poised, like how a dragon can go from being you know, perhaps like that aggressive, that, you know, that rage, that anger, like all that fire that comes out, but yet it's embodying this really graceful, graceful energy, like going from dragon to swan, swan to dragon, this, this balance, this, this back and forth between really serving your own justice to yourself, feeling rage and anger and all those emotions or what we deem to be you know oh don't don't um stay away from that right like a dragon you know burns things destroys things but yeah i need to build something again to to there's a reason why a dragon is probably defending itself so also the way i'm getting the, the downloads and the way i'm telling it it's giving me like a myth mythological energy, right? So some of you could have a strong association with mythologies as well. Ancient mythologies. Again, it could be something you're just genu like genuinely drawn to, right? It's like a hobby. It's an interest. It doesn't even have to be from a spiritual stand standpoint. Though, for, of course, for many of you, it will be. And perhaps you'll start going down that path more, right? But it yeah, Dungeons and Dragons, you know, this kind of um, energy. And okay, so this going back to the swans, it's also representing healing here, right? Um, it's representing um, a completion. And again, similar to the dragon energy, it's inner. It's something here that has been unfolding on the inside that's now going to start showing up in the physical reality it's now going to start manifesting in ways that you can't even begin to imagine now simultaneously okay um, all my readings are timeless but as i shared we had this full moon energy that we're coming out of and regardless this will still apply um i saw the full moon very briefly at two different uh, points in time and the first time it was very brief and then covered by clouds and, and it didn't show itself again. I thought, how interesting. It was like for a split second, a few seconds, I got to see the full brightness of the moon and it, it went. And I understood from that that something is very, very close to being revealed. Okay, something is very, very close to coming out and you're going to take a seat. Universe, God, your guides, your ancestors, they're telling you to take a seat. Because you're going to have full, you know, front row view. You're going to see this in real time. Whatever's been hiding, okay, the, the moon is shining on it. I know it's normally we go for the sun is shining on your affairs, but there's something about the moon here, right? Because it's secrets. It's something that's been hidden, something that you thought was never going to come out, never going to be revealed. And it's there's legalities here, information. Okay. 
and a, a, a revealing of false masks, false persons wearing a mask. Yeah, there's also um, silverfish connecting to this, okay? I had I saw a silverfish like quickly running um, in my place and I, I've not seen them in, I can count on one hand when I've even seen silverfish, even in my whole life. And it was so fast, just like how I saw the moon being shown to me, the full moon, and I thought, wow. Just if I hadn't looked at that moment, I wouldn't have seen it. So there's something here where you are going to see something again, okay, taking that front row seat. But it's like, wow, if I hadn't have messaged that person or if I hadn't have been in that place at that time or if I hadn't have, um, you know, done something I didn't want to do or normally wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have known. There's something here about you wouldn't have known. And it, it's, of course... As you know, with all my readings, I can be getting current, future, near future, right? So take it as it resonates. Some of you may be going through this right now, currently. You just had this moment pass. But for many, it's to come, of course, right? And now, moving on. There's also something here, a significance of simplifying and reorganizing, okay? Simplifying responsibilities, simplifying the way that you're looking at things, okay? It's kind of like getting all perspectives to align. Something like this, um, you know, it can be aligning the mental, the emotional, the physical, right? There's something here about simplifying, becoming one and taking a stand back so that you can see better. Um, some of you, it's something to do with looking too close to the point where now you can't actually see, okay? So taking a stand back is significant. All right. Those are the child messages and I am gonna go to the cups now. So cup one, cup two, you know, go ahead and choose which cup you're drawn to the most. Maybe both cups today. Okay, we'll see. And then we have some oracle cards to see and um, tarot cards. We'll see those at the end as usual. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, cup one. Okay, cup one, welcome to your reading. Let's take a look at your cup. I'm gonna also hold it up to the screen so you can have a look and pause if you would like to and see for yourself. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> it's interesting when I see it in the camera I see completely different things because right away I see like a huge um, crescent moon, you know, crescent moon here. And like the star, star symbol here. Um, it can be found on the Turkish flag. It can be found on many flags associated with Islam. See that? You know, what I have here right away is major, major, major protection. Very holy energy, okay? Very blessed energy. Some of you here, okay, you are, you're going to be called upon to do very, very important things that are going to help people. Okay, you're going to guide people uh, from, from one place to another. Um... Like, 
it's coming from a place of moving from one land to another and also um, something here is kind of undercover okay you, you're not going to be able to um, tell people where you're going and what you're doing this could be in your own country this could be in a different country and you don't have to um, you know be a part of the community you know you don't have to be Muslim etc but this still applies there's a holy energy here in this cup where, where you're going okay this is ahead um, yeah there's a very strong mystic energy here in cup one uh, in some cases, okay, many of you are going to take a trip by uh, boat, by, yeah, you're going over water, but it's very far. And I'm seeing like clergy, you know, clergy wearing a robe, orthodox energy coming forward. Here also, where this is not resonating, right, you're, you're thinking... North, I'm, I'm not um, I'm not on as such of a spiritual path perhaps to that level right global level is what I just shared there um, however it's like you're being re reborn you're going to be reborn you're going to take a vow you're going to particularly where there's a union involved right you're going to take a vow here that's going to involve very uh, a very blessed ceremony, a very holy ceremony. It's particularly about holy. It can be here, there's a marriage happening. And the marriage is happening in a place that's very holy. A particular landmark, okay? Right, so just give me a moment there because I just got a lot from that right away. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah. Also here in cup one, um, there's two very different perspectives, cultures, religions, backgrounds coming together here right and this does pertain to this union and there's something here about three coins right at coins something significant about coins this is either an exchange again because it's like two cultures coming together you know these two people two sides of a family or two different families rather and you know, coins are being offered. These coins can be literal. But these coins also telling me there's going to be like a, a really powerful lineage created, like a like a continuation of a powerful dynasty of, um, you know, I hear like, you know, DNA activation. Because there's something very, again, that holy, blessed, meant to be energy here of this couple union and and this is much further ahead okay cup one this is not right around the corner this is not something in many cases you've not even met this person yet so it's not even gonna necessarily even resonate right now it's gonna be well no I'm staying here or I don't think that's the kind of thing I would do or it's something <laughs> very much so um, destined and I'm saying it that way because it's like you could decide oh I'm going to go and do this for five years and there's not even an inkling or a sign that you'd end up meeting this person and having such a profound uh, you know wedding ceremony um, coming together and what I'm hearing is it won't matter it won't matter what way you decide to do things in the meantime because this is coming in this is happening 
right? This is destined. Very interesting, very powerful energy. Um, now, it's also interesting because it's really all about future, far ahead. It's really quite clear your current energy, your past energy, the work you've done, the healing you've done. So I also see like a bow, right? And, and a house, there's a house, yeah, a bow and a house. Uh, a bow is in a ribbon, you know, when you tie and you make a bow with ribbon. So it's also here um, telling me this is your gift, okay? This is your gift. And where it doesn't necessarily pertain to a union, right? Though that is there very strongly and very dominantly. For some of you, there is that more individual journey as I shared, right? Going to different lands and moving people, uh, guiding people to um, get from one place to another. Very much so a kind of incognito mystic and using your healing powers, okay? In uh, these um, situations, definitely humanitarian situations. Um, now, yeah, this bow is representing like a gift. You are the gift also. This is what I hear, you are the gift. A gift to the world, a gift to the people around you. You are a gift to this person who you will be in this union with and also a gift where you will be using, of course, your healing powers, okay? to assist in um, situations around the world on a global scale, right? Some of you, I, I see somebody speaking at the UN, right? Somebody's on a, in a conference. Some of you could be studying law or you're thinking of like, I'm switching tracks here. I'm gonna switch tracks at some point, but what is it that I do? How do I combine my humanitarianism, my mysticism, my healing powers my seeing powers to assist in this reality. Like I want to make changes here. You will do it. You will do it. Okay. And in some cases, it's also about a connection to like a business, a business and, you know, grassroots. And for example, making sure that um, the fruits from a particular country, they actually the farmers, the workers, they're getting what they are supposed to get, right? By the time that produce would arrive somewhere else and that they're not being ripped off. So it could be lawyer to do, you know, law and farming, right? Depending on where you are in the world, there's certain, I'm, I'm seeing and hearing there's like certain parts of the world where it's like very, very particular about farming and lands and rights of people and then selling these produce and moving it around and so this home right so also for, for some of you who've been moving around quite often or you still just feel unsettled right it doesn't matter you've been in the same place 15 20 years you're always inside of you it's like i'm not settled i'm not settled and you are right in that feeling you will not stay where you are where you're sitting when you watch this video it's not where you're going to be it's not where you're going to end up even okay there's something about a coast. A coast is very significant, okay? So you, you will be living by water, many of you. And this home, okay, is gonna be very, very important because this home is gonna be the kind of home that, you know, speaks. It's like, it's like a magical home. Some of you, you kind of already um, had a connection to a place where this will be, but not the exact location of where this home will be, okay? But it's like you could have visited and thought, mm, I, I love this energy, I love, why does this feel like home? And you're gonna go back where some of you already know this place. I do, I am drawn to Eastern Europe, okay? I want and Central Europe, like I wanna go to Romania. I want to go, I'm seeing Romania, I'm going to Romania. That's what I see, okay? And um, also associated with this home and way, where I see you ending up is a particular flower from this place, okay? A known flower. 
could be national flower, could be provincial flower, could be. But all I know is there's something important about the flowers that it particularly comes from that part of the world. This could be, it's like Bulgaria, Bulgaria, if I'm correct, they're famous for the roses. Oh, well, the essential oil, when I often see it, it's Bulgarian rose, right? Yeah, okay. Let me just take a moment because a lot is coming out here, a lot. I see the initial M. I have the name Maria, Marta, Mariana, Michi. I don't know what that is, but uh, Michi could be a nickname. Yeah, and it's also looking like a number three, okay? So three is significant here. Three. It's going to be three years, three years from now, all right? Yeah. At the top of the cup here, I see like two hands on top of each other. It's kind of like, you know, when you give your hand in marriage, though it is at the top, right? Um, but I see that. Um, I, I do, I see this as protection. You, you've been protected all your life here, cup one, okay? Um, in some cases, this hand, where I see these hands overlapping each other, it's also though like praying hands, like this could be, you know, um, a paternal, a maternal figure who you grew up with. Um, you know, they prayed over you, always praying over you um, so that you would be protected. Here, empty nest. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I do see a letter J also, and I hear the name. Jamira, Jamira, Janai, something with J, you know, J, J. I see a, a sleeping fox, <laughs> sleeping fox. And also, um, it's like a little scene here with a camp, you know, campfire and um, a log. Yeah, storytelling, the fox, with the fox and the hound, but uh, there's some significance here about fables, okay? Yeah, and the fox, the fact that the fox is sleeping here, lying down, resting, it, it's telling me that, you know, no matter um, what comes your way, right, Come, it comes up, challenges, difficulties, it's like, you, you have, you, you, you will be able to um, see things you're going to be able to see things for what they are. It Because I hear like, you can't control everything, but with the fact the fox is sleeping, it's like, oh, well, resting. Doesn't have to even be asleep, but you'll be able to navigate. You'll be able to navigate um, in a way that you don't have to be on the defense. You don't have to be looking out. Like, for example, for the, you know, someone's evil eyeing me or someone is, it's like you're going to be able to, be in a in a restful position but yeah be very woke I, I don't know if that even that's what i have i'm not going to say if that even makes sense because that nothing can sometimes make sense when it comes to you know readings and stuff but at some point it will <laughs> maybe not today tomorrow but right let's see what else Yeah, 
I see the face of a woman here. Face of a woman. She's being honored in some way here, okay? Um, it's like an anointing. I see an anointing happening. This, again, going back to this kind of holy energy. Um, this could also be like a high priestess energy, a high priest, right? We don't even have to necessarily apply a gender here. Um, but certainly there is anointing. You are anointed. That you, you have that energy. This is the thing. If you listen to the channel messages, it's very much so an inner that is manifesting out, right? So, yes, this is prediction. Yes, this is future. This could be the physical manifestation of it, right? The ceremony of the physical anointing. In whatever capacity that is. If it's through the divine union, if it's through, you know, the blessed union, if it's through, um, you know, some kind of healing ceremony you will uh, attend or be in honoured in some way. It's already done. It's like the manifestation of it. Yeah. And also uh, the bow they see, it also uh, changes into um, a time, a timer, you know, the old fashioned timer, the salt inside the, I don't know the, the correct name for it. But what I can say is um, it's about, uh, um, it's like, you've bought yourself time it, this is telling me that whatever you know you think time opportunity was lost oh i got that wrong i should have done this way that way this is telling me and it's quite big at the bottom there is like you um everything you've invested in energy wise time wise it's actually bought you time this is what i'm hearing I hear time can't be lost. It, uh, things can't be lost over time. Okay, take it as it resonates. Right, that's what I have for cup one, okay? Very interesting uh, deep cup there. Right, so yeah, this is the dragon. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, oh I didn't, I've got some tea dripping down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, hold on, guys. I, I'm going to have to just wipe that out a bit. Okay. So um, some of you uh, in, who chose cup one, you may be, you may have been born in the year of the dragon or something significant can, uh, occurred for you when it was year of the dragon and also ahead for future, right? The year of the dragon, when the next one comes, okay? Um, uh, cup one, I recommend the channeled messages to get more information on that, okay? Because I spoke a lot about the dragon energy in the child messages. Okay, I'm moving on to your cards. Let's see your moon oracle. Pick three cards. Wow, love it. Look at this, goodness me, beautiful. So let me show you what you have. You have acceptance. You have faith. Uh, you have growth. In the Muse Tarot, you have Ten of Inspiration, Eight of Inspiration, and Ace of Materials. Look at that. Wow. And finishing on what I said there, or adding on to rather about you gaining time. Oh, wow. And look what she has. She's holding a clock. Look, what did I say about time? Wow, cup one. Yeah, you need to, 
You need to not worry here. You need to not worry at all. You have not lost time. You have not lost opportunity. Having that faith, the faith is also paying off, right? Ace of materials, that reference to like, you know, the investment, the paying off. Get, um, because again, it's like, uh, you know, I'm getting these references, like you earned this, you earned this, like you you bought that time. Um, of course, I'm speaking in these terms, this is how it's being given to me, but we know what it's really referring to. This is like, you know, Dharma, this is your, uh, you know, your your kindness, the way you've been, the way you've given, the way you've accepted others. Um, you, you've also helped others transform your healing gifts, right? Your nurturing, your leadership, in whatever way that you've done that, big or small, doesn't matter. You've, you've earned it, you've gained that. And now it's time for you to essentially reap the rewards, right? Okay gonna get another few cards here yeah so yes I, i'm being drawn to 31 some of you could be 31 turning 31 it can be 31 when you you know embark on that particular uh path that i shared in the cup there right does anything else want to come out here okay mm. death oh wow three of emotions and the full, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. Um, you know, you can't miss what's for you. You can't miss what's for you. This is what I also hear, okay? You can't miss what is for you. Golden opportunity, fortune, okay, fortune. Um, and this is something that has been uh, growing over time, okay? The, the seeds that you planted, when, you having faith when it looked like you shouldn't have faith. Like, this is bleak. This is, I'm just relying on, like, yeah, faith. Like, I'm relying on the unseen, right? Having faith in the unseen. And all along, all along, it was growing, right? All along, you were going to the right path. Look at the strength. She's, like, so rooted. She's, she's a tree here. Yeah, over over an egg. She's an it's a nest and then an egg. I think I'll say um empty nest. Yeah, there was a reference to empty nest in the cup. So it's almost as though, yeah, you know, some of you here, you you're gonna be leaving like a particular it's like you've you protected the egg, you protected the seed, so to speak. It's time to shed, becoming that dragon, the, transforming into the dragon. Allowing things to unfold. Yeah, so death and, re well, death and rebirth there with the full card. Becoming a complete new, new version of yourself also. I mean, a version that's already, uh, sorry, it's always been in you, but it's, it's like the releasing of it, you know? Going back to that releasing energy. Yeah, the truth on the bottom of the deck. That's the truth. Like, the, you are the truth, you know? You are the truth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so be, be uh, ready. In some cases, um, pile cup one. I hear spring into action. Ten of inspiration, eight of inspiration. They We know they are the ones. It's like, and then the fool being there, okay? It's like, get ready, you know? Get ready to, um, yeah, take that leap of faith with the fool and the faith card being there. Yes, I, I you have it. I, I shared that, right? I've touched on it. But it's like, get ready again. Get ready for something else, something even bigger, something even more unexpect, unexpected, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's what I have for you, cup one. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon for another one, okay? Bye for now. All right. Um, let's...
Okay. Hello, Cup 2. Welcome to your reading. Let's take a look. Are you Cup? I'm going to hold it up to you so you can also pause the video. Okay. I'm going to point some things out now. <clears throat> I see. Right, we've got a, a heart here. Oh, yeah, a heart. There's something here about past love. Past love. Actually, when we look at also, it's like two eyes. Look at two eyes your nose and mouth but basically look at those two big eyes from your past so here you know cup two you you have a very um i hear heavy watcher watching you heavily uh very much so in your energy still and what i hear is that this person is flying towards you i don't know why it's flying i've got this bird here just give me a moment because I'm seeing a lot. <clears throat> yeah, there's something here about overseas for some of you, okay? This person from the past. Something here where a connection stayed, a, stayed in contact. Um, now, I'm not picking up right away here that there's something negative or this was something that went very wrong. No, there was a distance and, and yeah. There was a distance here. Um, it could also be, you know, time representing distance. Like they could be in the same province. They could be in the same state, but like time separated you, right? I, I see like a splitting off. Like there was a splitting. Of course, yeah, something ended, but I just mean it's like destiny. You know, the paths you were on had to go a different way, not because there was something where it was like wrong. This person is still in love with you. They love you. They, they've always loved you. They're going to continue to love you. Okay, this was needed to be heard. I don't know why, but well, I do know why because I'm hearing is this all in my head? Is this all in my head that I'm that I'm still thinking about this? Like, what what is it about? And it's not in the sense that you stop living life or it's take no, it's not that, but it's just like it's there. And particularly when you've clicked on this video, this is why it's something you need to hear. It's like, that's what's going on. Some of them are trying to find you. So where it was a case of like, yeah, okay, a province changed, a country changed. Yeah, they're trying to find you as well. They don't know where you are. I'm seeing now um, a friend request Social media, if, if you have social media, they're going to contact you that way. There's going to be like a friend request, it's going to be a follow, it's going to be a like. Where you don't have that and you're not online, um, there's something here about a, a male, male, um, I'm not saying they're going to send you something in the mail, but somehow, I don't know, it, they're somehow going to get hold of you. This could be a number, right? They're looking up in a book or... It, yeah, like a direct green. So I'm going to leave it at that because that's what I'm getting and what I see in my vision there. Um, yeah. Okay. There's a lot going on for you here in uh, Cup 2. A lot of changes, right? The energy here in cup two is more current, present, like I'm, it's closer. I feel it's closer. It's like imminent in some cases. There's like move happening here. Um, I do have uh, the initial uh, Y, okay, the initial Y. Also see a W there, but um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, here, all right, I'm seeing like something taken off. Again, I saw like the bird, but yeah, something is taking flight here. So in some cases, um, not only the reference to the past person and a flight, right? They could be coming overseas or your, vice versa. You're going back somewhere, right? This could be going back to a hometown, a university town, but not all of you, right? Aside from that, 
aside from that, there is actual travel. There's moving here. And it's a major move. I have like a timeline here of six weeks. For some of you, okay, um, of course it won't be for everyone, but for some of you, this is, I hear like an even overnight decision. That's why it feels so close in energy. It could be something that you're sitting on right now. Like, do I do this? Do I go? Do I, like, that means I just need to pack up my stuff. I just uh, apply for the visa. There's something here that's a bit hurried and a bit hasty, but it's like, at the same time, it's it's intuition. Like something is giving you itchy feet, like you're ready for a change here. And again, it won't all be to a different country, anything like that necessarily, but you know, changing apartment, changing uh, the location. This is, yeah, this is close, okay? Six weeks to three months. Baggage. Yeah. And also you're gonna go very lightly. Some of you, it's also a physical manifestation here of like getting rid of baggage. And you know what, what? What you're doing is you're you're going towards something. Like, I mean, of course you are. You, something is going to be waiting for you. But it's like um, because also the way the leaves are, the way they've unfolded, it's like something is coming towards you. Something is pulling you. That's what it is. Because I, the way the images are in the cup, some of the you know they're sticking out here. Like it's very much so unfolded, and it's like. It's pulling you. That's why there's also this hastiness. Like some of you may be like up at night or you're waking up at night, you know, like the bewitching hour, this kind of thing, because you're getting like these random downloads, but it's not random. It's guiding you because something is pulling you. Yeah. And I can tell you about some of the places here that I see. Uh, in particular, what I see here is that um, the places are particularly um, full of certain architecture and a lot of windiness, a lot of windy roads, okay? A lot of windy, winding up a hill, winding down. Like, um, you know, like I hear every corner you turn there's something to see like for many of these destinations uh you know and location move where it's in the sense of a just a town to a town or right because also i see a book being opened that's not in the cup but in my vision i see a book being opened it, you're opening something new you're opening you're opening something you never thought you would open you're going to, right? This is this is coming in. I hear that uh, that sound that was on TikTok. Into the thick of it, into the thick of it. I don't know. I can't remember what it's from, but uh, yeah, it's like you're going to be in the thick of it. <laughs> you're just going to go in there, like, okay, I'm doing this. Like when someone jumps off the diving board, like, okay, I'm not ready, but I'm doing it. Education is significant here, okay? Education, that's also what the book signifies. Education, wisdom, learning, a higher learning, right? There's also something here about a tribal energy, a tribal um, influence or a tribal, um, well, reference to, to tribe energy here, okay, um, this could connect to you directly, this could be something that you're, you're researching, you're interested in, the place you're going to has some kind of travel influence, you know, of course, that won't be for everyone, but um, I do have that here, I see like a figurine, like a tribal figurine, you know, even it could be mural painting on the walls, you know, you could be like an art, you're into spiritual art, I, I don't know, like, you know, where the paintings or you know, murals and things, they have spiritual meanings, right? Um, 
could even be hieroglyphics. Uh, and also this tells me you're, you're going to be learning a different language or you're, you may already speak different languages, right? You could be adding to your list of languages, but here it's, you're going to be reading like, um, you know, letters and script that's very different to um, your native language. Even if you're not going to study it, it's still going to be a part of whatever it is you're looking into, researching these windy places with this particular architecture, all right? And yeah, in some cases, this can already be where you are, right? This could be where you are now. But as I said, it's like a slight location change or, okay. Yeah, so I see I see two people. Yeah, you're gonna fall in love here. Oh, oops, Daisy. You're gonna fall in love here. Some of you, you can already be with this person because this is like up the cup. It's this is up the cup. But also going back to that past person. Which isn't really past energy because you know, as we know already, there's no time, is there? But it's like they never left. Something like that. You never left them, you know, energetically speaking, heart heart wise. Eating love left their heart. Um, yeah, I see this. And you know what's interesting? It's quite covered and hidden here. And it's like, maybe this is something you'll keep quiet. And, and if you, where not if, where you are currently, right? Involved with somebody here. It's it's low. It's on the low, like, on, you know, low key here. Something is being like protected. This could be a decision you made. But I can tell you that um, this person where it's the case that you're with them now, this is the person for you. In some cases, you're moving with them, right? This, what I described is with this person. Others, you're going to meet them. But again, it's very close in energy where you haven't met them, right? And then the return of this past person, it can be two. It can be two. The past person is coming in and you didn't meet someone. But as I shared, this past person... This is confirming here there's a reconciliation of some kind or where it didn't get off the ground, right? It couldn't fully develop well. It's going to. I see I see a face here but yeah actually this face uh, has quite a tribal um, uh, tribal features now of course there's many tribes in the world all right so I'm um, all I know is the features are prominent right so okay many backgrounds cultures can have prominent features but um, what I can say is, okay, to be specific, is they have like a headdress of some kind. This is man. This is the male gender here. He has some kind of high, a high headdress, like it's, it's pointing up. There's something on his head, right? Very strong brow and very strong nose, very chiseled, okay? It, it does give the impression of like a, a statue, right? I, I saw that before, but... This is an actual, I have like a person, like a live energy. So this tells me as well, okay, this could be connected to your person. This could be heritage, right, of your person that I'm seeing in the cup. This could be connected to your heritage. It doesn't have to be that you're even going to a place where it has a tribal connection. But somehow this is quite poignant here. And of course, this can be connecting back to ancestry, right, your ancestors. You, this could be something that you are connected to, spiritually speaking, right? You are honoring ancestors in some kind of way. You know, I hear Aztec. 
you know, I hear that. And, and so it doesn't have to only be that, of course. Yeah, certainly a warrior energy, a warrior energy, okay? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> holding back the years, I'm holding back the tears. Simply red. <laughs> Somebody a fan of simply red. Here, brick by brick, brick by brick, piece by piece. Um, there's a song by Katie Nelua, piece by piece, is how I'll let go of you. Um, yeah, definitely like a lot of nostalgic energy here, particularly where you, um, of course, where you have the past person, but even when you have this person that's with you now, right? You're together as he shared, or they're coming in. It's close as well. As I shared, um, you're going to feel a lot of nostalgia. And where you're with them already, you're feeling it, right? Um, that's what those songs are telling me because these songs are like very much so focused on like, yeah, something that happened a long time ago, felt like it happened a long time ago. Like, how did it take us so long to finally find each other? Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take a look, cup two, at your plates. Hmm. Well, right away I see a lobster. A lobster? Lobster some kind of sea creature, you know, going, crawling, yeah, the tail and that. Something here about, um, what, what is it? The catch of the day? Something about the catch of the day and, um, I know it's like you, it's telling me something about luck. You're going to be lucky here, catch of the day. You're going to win. You could be going to win something here. You're going to get. Yeah, it, it's a prize, like catch of the day, you know, refer a reference here, but just to, you know, things from the sea, from the ocean, but. So, uh, okay, this is interesting. I see a duck, okay, an animal. Yes, it's the shape of a duck. It's got a beak here. So it's a duck. And the duck is big. So there's something here um, about going going downstream, you know, like how, yeah, like how the ease of a duck, how they go downstream, right? How they can be on water, a duck to, like a duck to water, you know, that saying, there's something here where you're going to be kind of taking something on or it, it, being involved in something and you're going to take to it like a duck to water. It's going to be like plain sailing. A lot of references here to the to sea and sea life, you know, but um, water, right? 
Some of you, you, you know, you may be a water sign, you have significant water placements, um, or just you have an affinity with water, right? It doesn't have to be that you are even a water sign or anything like that, but I just have that as well, of course. Um, you may even love ducks, right? You may, you may have... Um, yeah. I hear broom. So, yeah... I was getting it before actually and then it reminded me when I hear the word broom is some of you doing a sweep maybe you did a sweep recently I am recording this close to the full moon energy but you are you you being asked to do a sweep right to bring in this catch of the day because it's like block yeah something is like blocking being at ease going downstream you know do a sweep floor wash you know with whichever It's interesting because I actually, when I look at that, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I see like symbolism, like it's another language. Um, oh. uh, yes, like Chinese uh, symbolism here. It looks it's slightly different when you see it in the... In the camera but when i'm looking at it like that that's how it like the like a scroll you know the long writing could be japanese but i know it's like um th that type of uh, thing that i'm seeing and even when i look over there now so of course i don't know what it means but there's a reference there to you know um the far east and the um symbolism and if you listen to the channel messages, you will know I touched a lot on like it being the year of the dragon, the lunar new year. Um, so, you know, there are those references there to that. And then this is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Yeah, actually, that looks like the broom. That looks like the broom. <laughs> the tip of the broom or a hand brush, uh, you know, dust, dust pan and brush. <laughs> And if I'm correct, um, before the Chinese New Year or the eve of the Chinese New Year, you don't clean up, right? You don't you don't sweep uh, to not remove the good luck, right? And then it's the following day you can do it. So, I mean, correct me in the comment section. Let me know if those of you are familiar with it. But I'm vaguely familiar with it. I should know. You know, I should remember better. Like, I was a teacher at one point, so... I did a lot of like the celebration things, but uh, you know, <laughs> my mind can go foggy. Uh, yeah, so that's what I have there. Oh, and one more thing, it could be tattoo, right? Some of you have a tattoo. You may be like a very, um, you know, you're fond of uh, Chinese culture or Far East culture, right? You don't have to even be from that background and you have a tattoo a meaning there, right? But it means something for you. Okay, that's what I have. Maybe you're gonna get a tattoo. Let's see your cards, cup two. Yeah, beautiful. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> All right, let me show you what I have. So we have peace. Okay. And actually, I'm going to go to the Muse card below because look at that nine of materials. Freedom. Look at how free she is. Some of you may um, resemble the um, images here. You may have long, dark hair. You may have similar features. I just have that. Okay. Of course, it won't be for everyone. But um, yeah, I do have that. And actually, they look very different. Yes, they both have long hair. But if you look very closely... Oh, it's a bit blurry. Okay. Um, but also, you know, okay, so we have peace and we have nine of materials, nine, nine of pentacles. You know, this is a very abundant energy, right? This is receiving. See the big, the hand there? This is, like, it's like she's receiving from the universe. And we don't have to take gender into account there, right? Um, receiving from the universe. And look at that, the, the protection that she has around her. 
It's like you can be rest assured. But also I hear from this, your single days are numbered. <laughs> In the case where you're not, um, you know, you well, rather you are still single. I just heard that right now. <laughs> We've got some ages here, 28, 43. They could be significant. Um, right, the other one here is the unexpected. The unexpected. One of them here has a back tattoo, okay? Some of you may have that you know, back tattoo. It's kind of a Celtic... Uh, actually, it's kind of a... Uh, also, no, when I look closer, warrior, tribal, can even be similar i know it's hard to see actually i'll describe it it's similar to uh could be a polynesian maori it's a warrior type of uh symbol tattoo here right you could have this you're gonna get it yeah both in the picture actually have tattoos but one's a bit hidden so also um yeah the unexpected and this is really the energy i got about this move and just this you know, taking this chance, things being imminent, and look below it, we have the muse of, um, the muse of inspiration, which is the ace of wands, sorry, knave of wands, knave of wands, right, the journey, uh, the traveler, the, the that kind of uh, innocent, youthful energy who's still inspired about life, and, and when you look at this image, it's like they're about to go through there, and there's two of them, there's that union energy. Togetherness. And action, yeah. Look. Action. And underneath night of emotions, following your heart. Following your heart. And of course, we've seen in, in the cup, there's love. Actual romantic love here, right? Um, and that's that unexpected as well. Because this is the one I have here with two people on, right? um it's like you even where you are with this person currently you're not like you are in that independent energy okay the abundant independent energy still it's yeah it's like what whoa where did this come from this is actually my person i didn't i didn't know this is how it was going to show up for me i didn't know um it could even be this beautiful this amazing even if you manifested that right you may be doing your visualization you're like I, you know where is my person um also very much so focusing on self-love but romantic love as well right as a result like working on self-love which we know is connected to receiving love from other people and in that case i just have from that like yes visualizing your person coming in your soulmate right and when i say soulmate I don't, I mean the one, like that soulmate energy of the romantic nature that, yes, it's a bit of the fantasy. I'm not talking about the one where now it's going to be a bunch of these heavy lessons and, oh boy, here we go again. No, you know, I, I, I use those terms very sparingly and only when I'm very, um, first of all, when I'm sure that's what I'm getting. And, and secondly, in this context, I mean the soulmate in that fantasy kind of you know what we oh i want to meet my soulmate i'm talking about that so it's not even it has to have the spiritual connotation of like soulmate i just mean that's the that's the best way to describe it right when you find that person oh it's like my soulmate and i saw in the cup there was the spiritual element of the knowing feeling like you've known each other the nostalgia like maybe we've been down maybe we've been down this road before together in another lifetime that's definitely there as well i'm just pointing out to be clear, right? Um, yeah. Okay, I think that's all. I'm gonna, I'll see if um, the cards have something else to say here. I think it's pretty clear. Really amazing, both cops, amazing. Uh, amazing readings, no wonder I had to jump on and get this out. Okay, what else? Uh, anything else rather, Spirit? Thank you, amen. of inspiration mm -hmm. yep it's coming in movement sudden quick movement yeah and look at that how it follows unexpected 
muse of inspiration, nine of inspiration, and I just intuitively put it there. Look at that. Explosive. Ooh. Oh, the truth. Nave of voices. Excuse me, muse of voices, nave of voices, actually. Oh, well, there's the watcher. That's the watcher energy. Ace of emotions, ace of cups. Oh, look at that. And what was I saying about the connection to the sea? And look, it's all the sea symbolism. Yeah, maybe you have like siren energy, merman, mermaid. Maybe you're, you're a, you know, you fish even. You're a natural fisher, you know, something like this. You catch fish with your hands <laughs> in some cases. Because you just, you have, you're affinity. You have an affinity with the ocean. Uh, you know, you here, like some of you, you're the kind of person that when you get in the sea or or wherever, you you know, you're near water, it's like all the animals come to you. <laughs> you're like a, well, yeah, like a siren or a, a mermaid, merman, as I say. Uh, you can connect with water, uh, goddesses, gods, all that kind of thing, right? Okay. I'm just shuffling here. Yeah, I'll see what else comes out one more. Why not? Why not? Let's see. Oh, what was that? <gasps> nine of emotion, nine of cups. Wow. You got nine, nine twice. Wow. Ooh, you've mastered self-love here. You're on your way to mastering self-love. If you don't feel you're there, look at that beautiful and again the connection as we know because emotions connected to water but you can see the image here and then with um the genie's lamp genie's lunch genie's lunch genie lamp genie okay okay tongue twister genie's lamp wish fulfillment right wish come true <laughs> Something that you didn't expect to come in the way it would or how it, how and the when and the whys. Actually, you have 999 here. So that's a confirmation number for some of you. Nine of materials. As we know, nine of pentacles, nine of emotions, nine of cups, and nine of inspiration, nine of wands. Look at that. Yeah, major breakthrough energy, especially when we look back at that unexpected card then, then action. It's like, right, go. Lights, camera, action. Oh, maybe some of you have got a connection there to the film industry. Some kind of creator. Creative, right? Okay, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I will try to be on more soon. Um, yeah, try and get on with Candlebox reading. And yeah, God bless. Bye for now.